Hi everyone, my name is Julie Mendelson and I'm a product manager here at JumpCloud. Today I'm going to demonstrate the JumpCloud Active Directory integration. And this integration will sync identity data between Active Directory and JumpCloud. It's a part of our directories offerings. You can find it on the directories page here, along with G Suite and O365. And to get started, you'll just click the green plus sign and create a new domain. I have one you can see here that I've configured, and we reference here an AD import and an AD sync agent. The AD import agent is responsible for importing data from Active Directory into Jump Cloud. So bringing users and groups into Jump Cloud so that you can then provision users Jump Cloud resources like Mac systems, Radius Auth, SSO. And the AD sync agent is responsible for sending data back from Jump Cloud to Active Directory. So specifically password changes will be synced from Jump Cloud back to AD. And so this will allow your users to update their passwords in Jump Cloud and have them sync with AD. So to get started with demonstrating the functionality, I have a domain controller here that I've installed both of the agents on. So the AD import agent to bring users into Jump Cloud and the AD sync agent to be able to sync passwords back. As a part of the configuration, I've created this Jump Cloud security group here. And in it, I have some members, including a Mac users group that I've nested into the Jump Cloud group. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new user. So if I have a new employee starting, let's say, and go ahead and give this user a temporary password. And then a quick email address. And I will actually make this user a member of my Mac users group in AD, and we'll create him there. So now when I open up my Jump Cloud group, I should see uh, my Mac users group in here, and we should see the new user I've just added, John Doe. So now this data is um, propagating back over to Jump Cloud. So if I go back to my Jump Cloud admin console, I can see here, I have my Mac users group synced over from AD and I can tell it's an Active Directory group that has synced because it has this Windows icon here. And within the group, I can see if um, John has successfully been brought over. So here's John, that user I just created. I can also find John in my main users page by searching and um, he also can be, he will be demarcated with the AD um, icon here, so I know it's a user brought in from the Active Directory integration. I can also quickly filter by AD managed here to find all of my users from AD. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and the first thing I wanna do is provision John access to a Mac system. So this is a Mac system that has our Mac systems agent running on it. So once I bind John to this system, a local user will be created with the same credentials that came over from Active Directory. And so um, it takes just a few moments to sync, but um, I have a VM that I can uh, swing over to here and we can log in as John. So here's the, um, the system that I've just added John to, and I'm gonna go ahead and log in using the same temporary password I set in Active Directory. And now that I'm logged in, one of the first things that I wanna do as John is update my password to something more secure. And I can do that from my system uh, using the the Jump Cloud menu bar application. So I can look for it up here in the upper right corner. Here's the icon. And now I can change my password to something else. I'll hit save.
great. Now the password, which I've updated here directly in my system, is syncing back to JumpCloud and will be then synced over to AD. So to, to recap what we just did here, I created John as a user in Active Directory, which then created a new user in JumpCloud who was provisioned access to this Mac system and was able to update his password directly from the system here and have that sync all the way back through to Active Directory. So if I go back into AD and take a look at my logs here, I should be able to see, I can tell that the new password uh, update has at least been detected. It's still in the process of syncing right now, so we'll just give it a few seconds here. Great, and now I can see the password has successfully synced, has new password to sync. Great, so whether my password is updated directly on the domain controller or in Jump Cloud uh, through anywhere that you can update a password in Jump Cloud, the passwords will remain in sync. So thank you for, for listening to the demo. I hope uh, if you have any questions, you will reach out and let us know. And thank you very much.